Today's video is all about the pro-lockdown left-wing hypocrites who spent the last couple of weeks starting a witch hunt campaign against Dominic Cummings and Boris Johnson because Dominic had a special case where he needed to get childcare during lockdown. He drove from London to the north of England uh, and uh, he's still socially distanced from everybody. He didn't get cl close to anyone. Nobody was at risk. And uh, he used the, he didn't break the rules, he used the, there was a loophole in the rules for everybody who needed childcare. And these guys, you know, started this campaign to get him fired and it didn't work. Now, today we have a list of people for you. The people who are pro-lockdown, the people who are left-wing and are also hypocrites. Let's start with the first one. The Labour MP, Rosie Duffield. So Rosie Duffield is very much pro-lockdown. She is very much against Dominic Cummings and his behaviour. How dare he drive uh, to the north of England to his parents' house without even getting close to his parents and stayed stay somewhere else. Rosie has broken the rules herself by visiting her, uh, her married boyfriend, partner. The guy is married. Well, he's getting divorced. He's separated, I believe. I don't care about the personal life aspects of this. It's, I'm not here to judge. It's just hilarious because... The, the same if, if these people weren't in favor of the lockdown and have been caught of doing something like this, we could say, well, they weren't really in favor anyway. But uh, they use their moral compass to say we are the best and Dominic is the worst. And now they're caught. It's embarrassing. So you had her left wing friends and supporters coming to kind of fix this story and kind of defend her. You have uh, Owen Jones. The Justin Bieber of the left-wing British politics says, saying, Rosie Duffield broke the rules and resigned. Why has the architect of those rules not resigned? Now, he's talking about Dominic Cummings. Now, Dominic Cummings is not the architect of the lockdown rules. The architect was Neil Ferguson. Now, Neil Ferguson did break the rules and Neil Ferguson did resign. <laughs> so this is the answer to Owen's question. So Owen, the architect, did break the rules and did resign. So, <laughs> now you think this is bad. You have, oh yeah, this one. That's another beauty. She's a member of the Fabian Society. Yeah, Fabian. Saying, a lack of judgment from Duffield, but she's acknowledged fault, apologised, and resigned as whip. Also, where is the Oxford comma? Oh, okay. And she says, that really is the end of story. It's not though, is it? It's only the beginning of the story because, well, firstly, she hasn't resigned as an MP. She resigned from her front bench shadow cabinet role. And I can assure you the way British politics works, within the next six months or a year, with the next Labour reshuffle, they're going to find a way to bring her back to the shadow cabinet because by that time everyone's going to forget about this story. Uh, so it's not really fair. She hasn't completely resigned as an MP. Uh, and. <laughs> And now it's it's not the end of story because Rosie, we have tweets like this from her. Uh, again, this is last week when uh, the whole Dominic Cummings gate started. She attacked Cummings after she couldn't see her partner when he had a heart attack. Now we don't know if uh, which partner is this, her real partner or the one who's married. I don't know. And uh, also, there's another one. Please remember, socially distancing social distancing rules are still very much in place. Very difficult on some of our narrow pavements and walkways. In Ristable. So I don't know if uh, when she went to visit her married boyfriend, if she used pavements or walkways, or I'm guessing she just drove. Um, so it probably didn't apply to her. So <laughs> I'm going to stop showing her tweets, but this is the last one. It's hilarious. There was a group of people in a working class area uh, outside a chip shop, breaking the rules, obviously. And she said... This is truly astonishing. Social distancing is not complicated. Indeed, Rosie, they're not complicated. <laughs> now, you think that's bad? We have the next one for you. Angela Rayner. She's amazing. She's blocked me on Twitter. Um, she said, the Prime Minister, this is a while ago, recently, Prime Minister is backing Dominic Cummings, but not only backing him 100%, but is also destroying his mantra of ensuring public health message. So, yes, she was against Dominic Cummings because she's an angel. She doesn't do anything wrong herself. She's a perfect human. Is she, though? We found this photo of her recently 
she's uh, right there um, outside her house meeting people breaking the lockdown rules brilliant right <laughs> why are you doing this firstly in public you're an MP you do know someone's gonna take a photo eventually someone's gonna find find out and we found out so brilliant uh, stop doing this stop showing your hypocrisy I have a friend uh, who's a political consultant and he was actually he's been a guest on my show Peter Barnes who I was talking to him about all this yesterday and he said the problem with the left is that you know they're self-destructive because all they have to do to win is to just shut up just don't say anything ever and they'll win the moment they, they, they start to talk then you know they just expose their own uh, hypocrisy which is funny now next one the teacher who called the, uh, the who called the police on Dominic Cummings uh, when he went up north? Also broke the rules. That teacher drove from Durham to Berkshire and back during the lockdown. Oh no! So this is the teacher who was uh, who was found to be also politically biased and left wing, obviously. And uh, yeah, the moral high ground is gone. It's out of the window. Bye, guys. You think that's bad? Next one. The idiot, the absolute idiot who uh, claimed that I saw Dominic Cummings up here. Uh, he actually visited the North twice during lockdown. He just admitted that he made up the story as a joke. So that wasn't true. Cummings didn't break the rules. He made it up. Why? As a joke. <laughs> so uh, the whole thing is that the left wing press. The Mirror, The Guardian, all these guys, uh, the BBC actually, in the media, they used this story recently, a week ago, uh, saying that uh, Cummings visited the North twice. They haven't corrected themselves. I'm sure if you have seen today on uh, the BBC or Sky News or anywhere, none of them have corrected, none of them have apologised, saying that, oh, the story that we published the other day was incorrect. The guy lied. This is the mainstream media. Um, yeah, so that's another one. <laughs> now, next one. Liverpool's deputy mayor <laughs> had to resign after holding a birthday party, 50th birthday party, a garden party. What? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's one of those uh, days because I found out all this, all this came out last night on Saturday night. And I was supposed to be having a quiet night. I was going to go to bed early. Then all this came out. And I ended up going to sleep at 2 a.m. So I'm kind of sleepy right now because I was trying to collect all this uh, information, all these stories. What is happening? <laughs> so, yeah, this is another one, which is kind of funny. But we have some funny story for you. Some positive news. I mean, the whole video has been positive for us. Uh, but John Burko, who was uh, nominated by his good friend, Jeremy Corbyn to become a lord, to join the House of Lords and part of the cronies. Yeah, he's not getting it. He's not getting a peerage now. So this is an exclusive. Uh, John Burko and Murphy will not get their peerages. Their cabinet office has told Jeremy Corbyn <laughs> because both of them were involved uh, in, are involved in investigations into alleged wrongdoings. Uh, unless they're concluded before the Prime Minister refers the names to the Queen, they won't pass the propriety test. So, we were quite worried about uh, John Burke joining the House of Lords and to cause chaos there because he spent the last few years in the House of Commons as a Speaker of the House uh, being extremely biased towards the Labour Party, extremely biased towards Remainers. It's kind of funny because this guy, when he was younger, as a Conservative, he was a bit of an authoritarian conservative. He, he wasn't like, you know, a bit of a wet or a liberal conservative. He was crazy, like, you know, extreme hardcore. And like Mussolini would have probably been his, his uh, apprentice at the time, if he was younger. But uh, now <laughs> he's uh, turned into this wet Romani. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to use bad words. It's very tempting, but it's Sunday. Not going to do that. Don't do it, Maya. So yeah, this is uh, John Burko. We have that positive news. Um, so <laughs> tonight for our uh, daily vlog at 8 p.m., I have an update for you guys on Brexit, the negotiations, and how France and Emmanuel Macron is plotting again uh, to keep the UK in the customs union through the back door if the UK 
don't agree with the fisheries policy for the European Union. Uh, and yeah, we have some update for you guys on that. So 8 p.m. tonight, Sunday, make sure to watch my daily vlog. And uh, also, uh, for the members of the channel, I've mentioned this a couple of days ago, I posted in the community page, the membership page, uh, I have a surprise for you guys. If you're a member, you've already seen it, obviously. Uh, if you're not a member, feel free to check out the link in the description or go on this link uh, to, uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, you'll get some benefits. Uh, we're going to start a new project for the members. Uh, it's very good. It's basically getting you guys more directly involved discussions with me, to communicate with me directly. Because uh, we have our live streams and live Q&As every now and then, but this is going to be much better. Uh, also, we're going to obviously start our free speech tour across the country again, probably around August or September when we can have mass gatherings without being caught of uh, breaking the rules. And um, so I'll keep you guys posted. The members obviously will get priority access, but everybody can also are welcome to join. Now, that's it for today's news show. I'm Maya TC, and I'll see you guys at 8 p.m. with our daily vlog.